What's up peeps, TechSec Pro with a new one. In this demonstration, I'm gonna be teaching you how to run standalone server to host your friend's jailbroken PlayStation 4 and play together on the internet. With this method, you can play most of the multiplayer games which have the LAN option inside them with your friends via internet on your own server. The method is totally straightforward and I try to walk you through the whole process step by step in order to accomplish the task successfully. This video is the server configuration and the client configuration is a must to watch which will be introducing to you at the end of this video for sure. Alrighty guys, here are the list of requirements that you need to get prepped beforehand such as a computer to run server and client on it, a server side software, a client side software, router configuration, IP configuration, a jailbroken PS4, and eventually a compatible installed game on both sides. And that's it guys. Alrighty, let's do this. First of all, you gotta disable the firewall on the windows, not messing around with the server and ports. Okay guys, so you can still keep it enabled, but it's very possible if the server that you're running acts up and drives you up the wall. So better safe than sorry guys, right? Awesome. Okay, click on search and type control. Click on control panel. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Then turn off both private and public one. Hit on OK and close the window. I mean you can just turn it on back guys after you're done playing online for sure okay so not a big deal. Next one is to open up this link which I put it in description below that you can download the server software okay. So scroll down and from the assets list download LAN play server windows.rat file. Here is the file. Right click on it and extract it here. Here is the extracted folder. Open it up. Find switch LAN net.exe file. Right click and run it as an administrator privilege. And here it is. It says application started, which means my laptop is acting as a standalone server and the server is up and running for sure. Easy peasy, right? Great. Now, since the server is listening to my public IP address and TCP UDP port numbers, I need to test it if it's accessible from the internet or not, because my friend is about to join my server via internet to play online together. To test the accessibility, you need to know your public IP address first. So go to iplocation.net and here is my IP address. Just make a copy, then paste it in search box and add columns at the end of your IP address then type 11451 which is the port number of your server. Keep it in your mind that the port number is always this one and it's fixed but your IP address varies, it changes because it's related to your internet service provider, okay? So now hit on enter to see if the server is accessible from the internet or not. As you can see nothing happened and seems like we got a problem here. Actually, my server is up and running but since I'm using the public IP address, all of the ports are closed by default on my DSL router. So I gotta open TCP UDP port 11451 on my router and forward it to my server local IP address in order to make the server accessible over the internet. Then my friend can connect to my server as the client and we play PS4 game together over the internet. That being said, I enter my router's IP address in a web browser which is 192.168.11. Of course, yours could be different. If you don't know what your router IP address is, you simply right click on the network adapter lower right corner of the screen, open network and internet settings, click on change adapter options. Right click on my network adapter which in my case is the Wi-Fi. Click on status, click on details, and take a look at the default gateway which is 192.168.11 which is the IP address of my router. Great, back to my router. I put my user pass and hit on login. Ok, here is the main page of my router configuration and options. So I click on advanced setup, NAT or network address translation. And finally, virtual servers. Here is the place that I need to forward the public IP and port to the local IP address of my server which is my laptop in this scenario. 
To find my laptop IP address, I simply click on search and type cmd and type ipconfig and hit on enter. And here is my laptop's IP address, which is 192.168.1.104. Nice. Back to my router. I click on add. Leave the interface, whatever it is. Do not touch it, guys, okay? Click on custom service and give it a name. For example, I go for DEX server. Then for server IP address, I type my laptop's IP address, which is 192.168.1.104. External port start. 11451 external port end 11451 protocol tcp udp internal port start and internal port end must be 11451 as well which are added here automatically click on save and apply and i'm done with router configuration Alrighty, guys back to lamp place server folder right click on switch landets and run it as an administrator privilege the server is up and running and ready Awesome. Now, time to test the accessibility through the internet whether the port we forwarded is open or not. Again, go to iplocation.net and copy your public IP address. Paste it here and add the columns. Then port number which is 11451 in front of it and hit on enter. That's a success. Awesome. When you see this message on page, it means that you are all set and you just ran your own standalone server successfully. Congratulations, guys. Now, what I need to do is running the LAN play and see if it can connect to the server as a client or not. So I right click on it and run it as an administrator. And here in input relay server, I type the server public IP address plus the port number and hit on enter. Here it is. Client is connected and I'm all set ready to play online with my friends on my jailbroken PS4. As you can see here, client count is number 1 which represents me. I ask my friend to join my server too. So I refresh the page and here he is. He joined and the number is 2 now. So this is a good way for troubleshooting whether your friends are connected to your server or not. For your friend's side, you need to give them your public IP address plus the port number that they can put it inside the LAN play client software on their computer to get connected to your server, okay? And if you haven't seen my previous video tutorial about how to play online on jailbroken PS4, you better watch it and learn the IP instructions such as IP, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS setup on both your PS4 and their PS4 in order to get connected and play online. So I put the link of the video in description below that you can watch it now and that's end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel channel.